pop quiz. You're having a baby right now. What are the top five things you go out and grab? What's up everyone? Thank you for tuning in to At Home Dude again. Today we're gonna to be talking about five things that are absolutely necessary to grab if you are having a child, like right now. I know it's hypothetical, but I just want to focus on how important it is that you really don't need that many things for a child, to be honest, an infant, especially for the first day or first week. That's what I really chose to focus on for this video. So definitely watch until the end because at the end, I'm actually going to tell you a lot more things that you can get that are vital, that are great things to buy, but even still with my entire list, it's much shorter than a lot of the lists you'll see online because they have a whole lot of extra junk on there. But if you wanna buy all those extra things, then they definitely will help out. Some will help more than others. And it really depends on the person. All right, number one is gonna be a car seat. Why do you say car seat? Well, because we couldn't even leave the hospital without a car seat. The hospital we went to both times with my children actually required that we brought the car seat in and they taught us how to properly buckle our child into the car seat and then that was the last thing we had to do before they would allow us to leave with the child. Not every hospital does this, but I do think it's becoming more commonplace where I live, which is in the United States. So you definitely need to have a car seat or else they won't even let you leave with your child sometimes. And also obviously if you're going home, you need your child to be safe in the car on the ride home. Number two is gonna be a med kit, a medical kit. Um, as a parent, honestly, the worst thing in the world is when your children are sick and it just seems like nothing else really matters in the world. So you wanna have a medical kit so that you can just do the small things, take their temperature, make sure they're okay if they're not acting normal or if you think something may be wrong, then that gives you a lot less stress to know, okay, he doesn't have a fever or she isn't doing this, so we know this isn't the problem and you don't wanna be running back and forth to the hospital because you think there's a problem. So if you can handle some small things at home and you have a little medical kit, it definitely helps. They usually come with a thermometer and several other things and I'm going to include baby Tylenol with that or infant Tylenol and those things will definitely give you a lot of peace of mind as a parent. Number three is gonna be diapers and honestly, I cheated you guys. I'm gonna be honest, I included wipes with diapers because they kind of go hand in hand. But they're all the way down at number three because a lot of the times the hospital will actually give you a few extra diapers to last you through that day and maybe the next day. And they don't really have great wipes, but the wipes they do have, usually they're more than willing to share with you. So you actually, for the first day home, might be fine with diapers and wipes, but it definitely is something you're gonna have to pick up first day, second day, whatever it is. Number four is gonna be some kind of safe bedding for your infant to sleep on. So a lot of people actually co-sleep and it's not really the best idea. It's supposed to be very dangerous. The state we used to live in really cracked down on co-sleeping and discouraged parents from doing that because parents would roll over in their sleep and not wake up and they'd be rolling over on their infant child, which is really dangerous. So you want to have a safe place. Also, your bed may be a little too soft for an infant. They want you to have a place that is a little more firm so that if the infant happens to roll over on their stomach, they're able to breathe still and there's not a lot of cloth that is gonna be clogging their nostrils or anything like that. So you wanna have some kind of, whether it's a bassinet, a crib, or pack and play is what I suggest for a lot of people because it'll last for a long time. You can check out that video here on whether you need a bassinet or not. But this is something you definitely need for your child. First night, whatever it is, you need to have somewhere they can safely sleep. All right, coming in at number five is gonna be clothing, and this is starting to get to the non-essential part. For clothing, you just want to make sure you have something your child can wear. 
if you're gonna wash whatever they're in. A lot of people leave their original onesie on for a day or two or whatever it is. Your hospital might have something um, for you while you stay the first few days there if you do that. But when you come home, you definitely want something for the child to change into. So now I know what you guys are thinking. Man, you're crazy. What about bottles and formula? Yes, you are right. Bottles and formula do need to be included if you are gonna be using formula. Otherwise, if you are gonna be breastfeeding, then really you don't need anything initially. It's not an absolute must, but there are some heavy suggestions that I have that pretty much most women will agree are a must. So let's move on to these other things that I will say are very, very much necessary. But the top five, I just wanted it to be things that were like critical and you couldn't go without. So moving on to the really, really necessary items that you need to grab right after these top five. So this is gonna be shout out to all the breastfeeding mothers and I'm gonna read off my list. Uh, you got nipple cream, breast pads, and a pump and then also a nursing bra and some bottles. All of those things you're gonna need if you want to give your body a break and I know a lot of people can't relate to that, especially men, but I know there are a lot of women out there who completely can because breastfeeding an infant around the clock can be completely crazy. I've watched my wife do it twice and it was just insane sometimes, you know, middle of the night, whenever the kid is hungry, you pretty much have to oblige and do your duty. But all of the things that I just mentioned can really help. And if you can breast pump some of the milk into bottles and save for later, then it can give you a rest. And maybe dad or whoever else you have can get up in the middle of the night and give the child a bottle so you can get some much reading net so you can get some much needed rest. The next thing that almost made the top five was rash cream. So anytime you're not as prompt with changing your child's diaper, or if they just ate something really acidic, something like that, they might end up with a butt rash and you really need to take care of that pretty much immediately. And so rash cream can really help with that or any other product that you want to use for a rash. Burp cloths and swaddles are the next things. And a lot of people get these from the hospital. Um, they'll pretty much give you the swaddle that they wrap the child in initially. A lot of people like to keep that as a keepsake. That's pretty much your child's first blanket slash swaddle. So that's really cool along with the beanie is what they usually give you. And then the burp cloths are really cool because some people call them like landing blankets or something like that. Uh, if anyone else holds your child, you usually want to protect your child from germs and stuff like that. So you'll just drape the burp cloth on their shoulder as they hold the child, things like that. So that's why those are important. I wouldn't say they're anywhere near the top five, but they're up there. And lastly, if you're gonna use a pacifier, it's obviously going to be pretty high on the list. And these are the things, honestly, after this, sure, you could have a changing pad, you could have some of the other features, all these products that they pretty much advertise nonstop to you. If you're having a baby, you can have tons of things. But in this video, I just wanted to go over the really essential things day one that you absolutely need. Let me know if you think I missed anything or if you have any good ideas on some of the things that I did mention and whether they should be moved up or down. I'm really interested to hear what you have to say. Just hit up the comments down below. And I thank you for watching this. Hit the like if you feel like this added to your knowledge base. Have a great day, you guys. I'm out. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada boom, bada boom.